Now, I'm going to be very honest with you because Mum told me uh, never to lie. Um, I've actually simulated um, uh, this um, process because uh, I actually um, uh, woke them all up yesterday and, uh, and didn't video it and then realised afterwards that I really should have videoed the start of the process um, so that um, future videos throughout the year will make sense. So I've um, basically uh, put them back in, in this storage vessel um, and I'll just sort of simulate how we do the removal, get them into a pot and then water them. So in fact that's very very simple of course but um, I wanted to record uh, uh, it as video one in the series of chrysanthemums. I think you'll get that. In fact, in this uh, vessel here um, were stored 24 uh, stored in this in this little vessel here. So it really is. Uh, uh, compact and uh, easy to do is just dig your croissants out at the end of the season um, remove most of the soil cut them down into this sort of length stem um, and, and put them somewhere in in fairly dry not completely dry but uh, fairly dry uh, compost and then somewhere cool and they'll just rest and do nothing until you wake them up so here we are at the wake up uh, wake up time and you simply have a pot ready with a little bit of compost in and then dig them out. This compost is wet, so um, in fact what I did the night before I uh, uh, planned to remove them, I did put some water into the compost uh, to get the process of waking them up started. Um, so that's a complete stool. We simply put it in a pot with the right sort of depth. labels visible. We label these up at the end of the season of course so I always use a uh, pencil because I've found that uh, that tends to stick around much longer than any ink I've found any any felt tips or special garden pens and such like that you get so we use um, uh, 4B pencils and that seems to hang on in there season after season. And then I just put them in the water as we go. Here's our next little guy. All of these were originally bought from, um, uh, I think it was Halls of Hedden, great specialist dahlia and chrysanthemum supplier in, I think, Northumberland, and I bought them as uh, rooted cuttings. So they go through this process early on, and as the shoots appear, they root them up, which is what we intend to do with these later on. Um, and once they've grown roots, they uh, pop them up and get them out. And they come with detailed instructions of exactly when to do each of the various stages of the process to bring them on. And particularly the stopping, they give you an actual date when the chrysanthemum should be stopped. Uh, <laughs> because that's what chrysanthemum grows are like. get the 
idea, you just basically pull it out. There's nothing to do except put it in a pot. Give it some water. Put it somewhere not too warm, but um, not cold, and shoots will begin to appear. Nope. These are quite serviceable. These things, if uh, if you can get get them round the stem, uh, they tend to be fairly robust. I think you get the idea there. So I'll carry on and do the rest of these, and then show you a picture of them all potted up and ready to go. Chrysanthemums are um, generous. Uh, plants they produce flower after flower after flower but not until later on in the season um, which is useful because when everything else is beginning to slow down uh, the chrysanthemums are coming into their own so right into November even December and you're still picking uh, chrysanthemums so that holds a you know it's useful for us as, as flower growers although like I said I'm by no means a specialist uh, uh, chrysanthemum grower. So there we are. Here's our collection of 22 chrysanthemum stools, all potted up, uh, ready and eager to get started, I hope. And we'll come back to it as they start to put shoots out and we start to take cuttings. And all of these were stored in this one. I keep calling it a vessel. Uh, uh, what is it? It's a it's a planter, a sort of window box planter. Um, and all of these plants, each of which will put out something like ten or so shoots, so ten new plants from each of these, uh, all stored over winter in this one little compact vessel. 